Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some of these really spooky, creepy, I think they're cute, <laughs> bleeding candles using stuff from the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. So basically, all that you're going to need for this, this is really simple. And everything here comes from the Dollar Tree. Even my lighter came from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a red taper candle and whatever white candle that you want to use. The red wax shows up best on the white candles or like this ivory colored candle. You use whatever color you want, but this is what I think looks the best. And I'm going to do this on each kind of candle, an actual candle that you light and the LED ones just to show you that, yeah, you can do it on both. So all that you're going to do, oh, I got paint all over me. You just light your candle, of course. Just let it start burning for a second. And I angle mine down like this. And I'm not worried about getting wax on my table. This is just my old craft table. I'll just scrape it off later. And then just hold the candle so that it's on the very edge of the white candle. And let the red wax drip just a little bit. See, there's one drip. I want that one a little bit longer, so I'm going to put two drips. There's two drips, there's a drip, there's a drip, and then all that you do is just work your way all the way around your candle. I know this is slightly off center in the video, but I don't want the heat from the flame kind of kind of screwing up my the lens on my camera or anything here. Really, really simple. I'm just going to blow this candle out for a second so I show you that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it looks like it's bleeding. Like I said, that was the um, that was the LED one. So now let's light the sucker again. Now we're going to do it on a regular candle. Just let it drip a little bit. Let the drips run down. There's one or two drips. There we go. Let's move it on around. I'll get just a few on here and then I'll let you see what it looks like. Let me get one or two more over here. A little bit more. Okay. I can't even blow out a candle. I'm full of enough hot air. I don't know why I couldn't blow out the candle. And there we go. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but yeah, this, um, actually, I have a craft video coming up making some really spooky candle holders. And I wanted to go ahead and get the candle part out of the way so that maybe you can go ahead and make a handful of these. Because for the candle holders, it's going to be a couple days before I get that video up. But anyway, you can at least go ahead and have your candles made. But isn't that cute? I call it cute. I think I like Halloween. You call it spooky, creepy, whatever you want to call it. I want to say it's cute. Anyway, even though this tutorial was incredibly brief, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of those will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.